Sir? What is it, Codsworth? Well, it's just we haven't seen you for a while. Look, I'm playing, and I... How I've... long have you been playing? I have lots to do here. I've got settlements to found, and... Well, maybe you could go for some fresh air, or... Fine. At least a refreshment. Yes, I could probably go for a Nuka Cola. All right, so I have three pieces of scrap wood here. Uh, these are hard maple. Uh, looks like dogwood. I think it's dogwood. And they are uh, at least three inches square. All right, so I'm going to drill out a hole in each one of these. I'm using a 35 millimeter bit. I bought it a long time ago when I was making cabinets for my house. So it was expensive. I'll have to get my, my money out of it. And now I use it for recesses to hold the work on the pin jaws. The material and the hole's about half an inch in, so I think I can take this top off here without coming through, got the hole showing through. All right. Oh, I can't tell. All right, I'm just gonna clean up that face with a scraper, because I love scrapers. Okay, so there's my illusion of a bottle top. And for the most part, I think it kind of looks like a bottle cap. We've got our bottle cap shape, the basic shape. And we need to give it some, some more texture. Okay, so here are my three Dremel-like tools. This one came with the Shape Oco 2. It was actually its original spindle. Uh, I use it for buffing every once in a while. Uh, this is the Dremel Micro. It is a good little multi-purpose, um, good for light work. But this is the one I normally reach for. It is the Dremel 300 and um, it's got a cord and it doesn't seem to ever bog down. So that's the one I prefer. Okay, so my lathe has the spindle lock and it's an indexer. It's got a 12 point indexer on it. So I'm going to set it to one, engage the spindle lock, and see what we can do here. Oh, this will help. I'm gonna plug this in. It's gonna help a lot. The grain is definitely fighting with me. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be hand sanding. I imagine if I did a ton of these, I'd be getting pretty good at them. This is already getting easier. Here we go. Here's my bottle cap. Um, by reference, here's my first one. Not bad, but not spaced as well. And um, certainly not as nice. So I think, yeah, I think like four or five of these in, you'll start getting a much more consistent look to it. All right, and you can kind of see the process. Here's the first one done. Just wanted to make sure it worked. And then I'm gonna move on to this second one, uh, the one that I, I like better. Let's have a look. That is flush with the top. It's got a nice hard lip there. Cracking open the cold ones. Should work pretty well. All right, so here we go. We've got our uh, bottle opener. And um, what I did was I took a piece of wax paper, just from the kitchen, regular old wax paper, and I ran it through the inkjet printer. This. I first saw on Steve Ramsey's channel, I've seen it lots of other places. I don't know if it's his method or 
what, but I will link to his video in the description. And since the wax paper doesn't have the pores to absorb any of the ink, the ink just stays on it, and you can just rub it right into the wood. And bright colors apparently work well. This is my first attempt at it. Ooh! Yes! Oh, I like it. All right, I don't have any lacquer in the shop right now. So I'm just gonna pour on a little wipe on poly. And that'll seal in the logo. And once that first coat's on, then I'll be able to add in a second coat here without as much fret. Looks pretty cool. And we'll wait for those to dry. Just another day out in the waste. Nice, refreshing Nuka Cola. And don't lose this. I don't know if it's the carbonation or the radiation, but it certainly warms the inside. So I actually saw these in one of the woodworking forums that I frequent sometime last week. Um, and his were um, finished without the image transfer. And, you know, they make really nice gifts. So uh, if you want to go that route, make a few of them. Because holidays are coming up and you need stocking stuffers. So what, what better thing to do than spend some time in the shop and get some of your Christmas shopping done? All right, thank you very much for watching. I got a wasteland to put in order. So I'll catch you next time.